So today we're at a conservation cropping system staff training meeting up in Indiana. We've got a nice field to use as an example and what we've been showing some of the uh, attendees today is the difference that residue distribution has on the establishment and emergence of different cover crops. So you can see in this area of the field, here we have a band of pretty heavy wheat residue. There's probably half or three quarters of an inch of compressed residue on the soil surface here. It's obviously been knocked down within this area, but there's a lot of residue within this area. Just move over two or three feet and there's very little surface residue. And what we're seeing here, and this field had a cover crop planted in it, that's why a lot of the residue is knocked over. The cover crop strips run perpendicular to the combine passes which run that way, and there's little to no emergence of cover crops just because the surface half to one inch that the, that the cover crops were planted into, there's no moisture to get them to germinate or emerge. Compared to over here, just three feet away, under the pretty good matter residue, there is almost enough moisture to make it cling together. So good moisture there as you can see. And most of the cover crops, there's seven different species in this particular field, most of these cover crops are starting to emerge now. The only challenge, we all, residue is obviously important. We need the residue for cover, but we don't want too much. So if we could spread some of this heavy residue to over here where there's little to none, there's almost too much because the drill in this example was struggling to cut through the heavy residue and there's quite a bit of hairpin in here where the disc just drove over the residue. So residue distribution at harvest time is critical for all crops, especially cover crops when we're trying to sow them in a dry environment like this.